This creature is a marine iguana. The marine iguana has a face that looks like it's ready for battle. Marine iguanas live on the Galapagos Islands, 700 miles west of South America, and way out in the Pacific Ocean by themselves. We'll follow a researcher, Inca Trilmic, as she studies this animal on Fernandina Island. The marine iguana feeds in the ocean. Its food is primarily algae. You can see a marine iguana here swimming for the rocky shore, returning from eating. These animals are able to survive in dangerous waters. Here's another. He's using his tail to propel himself forward. It takes persistence to make it back to land. Fortunately, their skin is tough and can handle being thrown by the waves against the rocks. The marine iguana has feet that make it possible for it to grab and crawl over rocks. And here at Cabo Haman on Fernandina Island, the marine iguanas have favorable living grounds. There's a rocky shore and then a sandy beach just beyond the rocks. So here is where Inca Trilmic is studying the behavior of the marine iguana. Inca, with her husband, is spending a week on this remote location. The first thing Inca must do is to catch and mark a number of iguanas. It may look like it's easy, but it sure takes perseverance. When she's caught one in her noose, she grabs its tail and then calls for help from her husband, Fritz. And they carry the iguana back out onto the sand where Inca paints a bright yellow identifying number onto both sides of the body of the iguana. Then they examine the animal and determine whether it is a male or female and whether or not it is pregnant if it's a female. The animal's behavior is not affected by having this yellow number painted on it. Then Inca's husband tries his luck at catching a marine iguana. This activity of catching, marking, and determining the sex of each animal continues for a full day. By the time they are done, they have caught and marked about 20 animals, enough for Inca's study. Each animal is released in good health. The marine iguanas use the sand as a place to mate and to dig a nest and lay their eggs. The mating process sometimes looks more like a fight. Out here on this sandy area, Inca counted over a hundred iguanas. So there's plenty of mating activity going on all the time. Inca sits all day, observes, and takes notes. The pregnant females use the sand to dig a hole where they lay their eggs. And then the eggs incubate. The incubation period is between two and a half and four months. It depends on the temperature of the sand. The sand must be a certain temperature within a certain range limit for the eggs to hatch. A Galapagos hawk has killed one iguana, has partially eaten it, and then left the carcass. Inca and Fritz examine the carcass and determine 
it was a pregnant female about to lay her eggs. So they open up the body and find three eggs, each about the size of a chicken egg. In fact, they will carry between one and six eggs. When the hatchlings emerge from the eggs, they head for the rocks for protection. It takes them up to two years before they're big enough to venture into the ocean. We weren't there during the time period when the hatchlings were coming out of their eggs. Marine iguanas are the only marine reptile in the world. When Inca gets home, she will analyze her notes and publish a paper on her findings. The Galapagos Islands are a fantastic place for behavior scientists to do research. To view other videos in this series, enter the words Cabo Haman in the YouTube search box.